We the crip niggas. Don't say, bro. This is our street. We own this yeah. shit. You own it? Hey, you guys, do you guys cause trouble or not? Sometimes. Yeah, we own this shit, cuz. Alice Springs. Eight. In Alice Springs? Yeah. Is it Alice Springs like America? No. no. A town. A town, we call it A town. A town. Avi Mini for Rebel News in Alice Springs City Centre. We're here today to talk to the locals, to hear from them in their words about the issues affecting this community. And if you want to see our reports throughout the week, therealvoice.com.au, you can see all our reports there. And if you think that this kind of journalism is important, especially after what the taxpayer-funded reporter did here, then consider chipping in to cover our expenses. Therealvoice.com.au. Have a listen to what the people of Alice Springs have to say. That's the age of them. Right. That. They're young ones. They're young ones. They're right? the trouble. And then more and more. Oh, yeah, they'll carry a machine if I f***ing cut you over. White got stabbed in here 30, 37 times just before all the media got here. People thought we were nuts to come here. Yeah, no, uh, you kind of are. Like, it is pretty ruthless out here. So, like, we have, we've had machetes pulled on us. We've had cars stolen. We've had cars jumping gutters just, like, a metre or two away from us and whatnot. So it gets pretty crazy out here. This is probably a quiet night tonight. But every time we say that, it starts, it tends to pop off. How old are you? I'm 17, my brother. I'm and 17. And, and what time do you go home? Ah, uh, daybreak it. Daybreak it, bro. You know... Keep it that way. You, you don't want to go home. Why not? Why not be at home at night? So you can see police here just patrolling on dirt bikes and moving on, you know, groups of um, young youths. Some of them starting to get a bit rowdy. It's still only early. Oh, I've only been here for the last few months. Where are you from? Brisbane. Oh, you're from Brisbane? Yeah, from Brisbane. What's wrong with you? <laughs> the money's good out here. So that's why they pay us well to work out here, I guess, because no one else is willing to work out here. Oh, I come down here July last year. I'm from Darwin Way, so I'm five far. Three weeks on, one week off. And is, it, is this worse than Darwin? Oh, hell worse than, way than Darwin. Yeah. Way worse. They're throwing rocks at us. Yeah, all good. All good. So there we are. Um, early on, they're throwing rocks at us already. These are kids out late. Police are barely doing anything. One night, I was walking past, and they were hiding behind the cars. Three behind and behind the cars, and two on the other side. And one come towards me, and he said, "Could I have a cigarette? I don't smoke. Could I have a tobacco? I don't. I haven't got that either." I'll give us money then. And I, because they, they, already, they already grabbed me already and they grabbed my bag off me, you know? That's why I don't carry that bag anymore. And they took whatever they took out of the bag and then they chucked the bag in one of the bins in one of the, in the Todd Moore. They just don't care. They've just got nothing. It's yeah, the kids are the ones you got to watch out for. They're the ones with the weapons and the Everyone's knives. saying that to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're the ones with the weapons and the knives and stabbings and all that stuff. So, yeah, the kids are the ones to watch out for. Have they come at you guys while you're working? Oh, we've been... Yeah, they're throwing rocks. We've, I've had an operator in his in his truck and he's had, like, rocks and stuff thrown at him through the window and smacked him in the face and whatnot. And then, yeah, that's why we've got security on, on site now. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're all, all night smashing windows or smashing something. What are the police doing about all this? They're doing f*** all. They don't. Why do you still live here? They do not Why don't you move away? Why do you like living here? I I got my wife here. She's Aboriginal. Oh, you're married to an Aboriginal woman. Aboriginal woman here. Yeah. I'm married to an Aboriginal woman. But you say it's it. We've been twenty years together. But you say that the Aboriginal children are the ones causing the problems for you. Correct. The, the cause needs to kids. Yeah. This is the reality for people in Alice Springs, and from everyone we talk to, the answer is not the voice. The answer is their parents. The answer is enforcement, is giving the police the actual power to deal with it because unfortunately right now there's nothing they can do. Well, they can't do anything to the youth. Like, they can't touch yeah, them. Well, we're under. That's like the, the kids that were throwing rocks at us the other night. 
the coppers grabbed him and he was 12 and under, so, all right, mate, nothing we can do, catch you later. Go home. You'll have, you'll have them driving around in stolen cars. There'll be like 10 in one in a Commodore. And then like, they get pulled over and it's like, you know what you're doing wrong? It's like, no. It's like, all right, on your way. Like, they, they can't get touched because of how old they are. Over down that street in Hartley Street there one night and we had three stolen cars go past us within the hour and the cops just follow them along. And I said to the coppers later on, because they walked past us, I said, so would you just catch them or what? And he said, no, they're under they're underage. How old are you? You're 12? 16. 16? Do you think there's problems in Alice Springs? Yeah. What kind of problems? Uh, kids, you know. The children wandering like a lost sheep dogs. And they're breaking every house, including the main big bus holders passing by. I reckon it's scary to live here. I'm, I'm there. I was thinking to go down Adelaide, anyway, travel. I ra- I'd rather go and I'm uh, with too much kids. Most of the kids that are running around don't even have their own bedrooms. You know, a safe place to go back to. How old are you? Fifteen. Fifteen. Are you boys going to be out all night? Yeah. What are we doing here tonight? Just Bet walking thing, around. Yeah. What is that? Betting. Why yeah. don't? Why are you not at home? They got this boring. No, they're a good kid. Some of them are, are bashing people up and yeah. breaking stuff. They're being. Some of them are being violent. Yeah, they are. But um, like they do that when they bored or they got no money, you know. I know, but I get. I get bored. I get bored. But when I'm bored, I don't bash anyone up. Crime doesn't have an age. It doesn't matter if you're ten or twenty or fifty. You do a crime, you do the time. That's it. You can't have um, these. Uh, revolving doors that allow them to keep having free reign over the town. Unfortunately, law-abiding citizens such as yourself, you're not going to get that, uh, you're not going to get that privilege. Is it as dangerous as we hear? Oh, yeah. And more. I've been walking down the mall and had five of them pick me up and beat me with a stick. Uh, originally, I was born in Los Angeles, California. You grew up there? Born and raised. What are the two gangs there? Uh, the Crips and the Bloods. Well, I... We've noticed they're down here too. Um, how do you think it ended up here? Unfortunately, they don't have that many role models to look after anymore. I mean, uh, there's a lot of uh, domestics, drunks, and stuff like that. So the kids nowadays, um, their culture revolves around the media, social media. And it's played a major impact on them as well too. So they watch the rap videos and everything else like that. And they're influenced by other black people and other, around the world, uh, uh, other places around the world who share the same skin tone. And then they want to be like them, right? Because their role models are lacking here. Unfortunately. Yeah, nothing to do. And what's more fun here? What's fun about being on the street? Walking around. Hanging with the friends? Yeah. Are you guys, do you guys cause trouble or not? Sometimes. Sometimes what kind of trouble? Breaking in there. Really? Does that, is that fun? Yeah. No. Do you get in trouble for it? Yeah. From who? Coppers. Oh, the coppers get you in trouble? Yeah. What kind of co- trouble do they get you in here? Any coppers. What, what kind of trouble do coppers get you in here? <laughs> Juvenile. Oh, juvenile? Yeah, we got juvie. Oh, you got a ju- You guys been to juvie? Yeah. Yeah, all about it, that. It's shit. Yeah, it's, oh, it's boring. Yeah. Are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you, are you scared? Are you scared to go to juvie? Nah, we can lock yeah. thing there. No. What is that? Who is that? Oh, you got brothers there? Yeah. And what, are the, what are the symbols? What are the symbols you're doing? Like blood and crypts. It's like, this is not, this is Australia, not America. They think they're in America? Yeah, they think they are. Yeah. It's sad. Yeah, it's sad. Just they watch um like all the movies and all that. The Crips and get um blood. Smoke cigarette with Crip niggas. What are the what are the gang symbols? Can you teach us? What's that? What's that? Is that like American? Like in America? Alice Springs. In Alice Springs? Is it Alice Springs like America? No. A-Town. A-Town, we call it A-Town. A-Town, okay. They're a bit lost. But all children need guidance, after all. So if you don't get guided, they're going to come up with their own worldview. Well, these group of girls were walking past and they kept yelling out to watch out. And I thought, you know, they were just having a joke. So I looked behind me, nothing there. Next minute, Land Cruiser. About a metre apart, metre away from me. Just jumped that roundabout, went through. There would have been probably eight to ten kids in the car. I just kept doing laps. So they weren't, were they aiming for you? They were just having fun? No, they don't, they don't really care. Okay. If they hit you, they hit you. If they don't, they don't. Uh, Where are you from? Darwin. How long have you been here? Uh, January. Money? 
Yeah, not worth it. <laughs> Why are you still here? I'm waiting for my flight out. Yeah, oh, real, that, that real? You're done? Yeah, I've seen blokes flog their missus. Fuck, we had, um, I was down there having a beer after work, got abused by some lady. Been abused at work. Yeah. It's, I'd be careful with the camera too, they don't like being filmed. Yeah, yeah we, had, we had the camera crew when the Prime Minister was here. They set up for about two minutes and they had shoes and rocks thrown at them within the first few minutes. And then you had to drive out real quick. <laughs> How long have you been here? About 10 years. 10 years. Yeah. Has it gotten worse over the 10 years or is it about the same? Definitely has gotten worse. Yeah, people are packing up, businesses are closing down left and right. People are getting sick of it and they're just not, you know, waiting for the uh, government to step in anymore. They're tired of it and they're leaving. Yeah, we, we're putting in like these, upgrades. yeah, the upgrades. So if you look down on Bar Street down there, you'll see like a, a sort of repli can, a replication of what we're doing for the rest of the streets around here. It's good to see council has that much money to... Yeah. Dig a hole for a tree. Yeah, that's nothing. And they're putting in all these structures and everything that are like a fair few million or whatnot. Uh, <laughs> There's boarded up windows everywhere. Everywhere. There are a lot of businesses aren't around anymore because these kids, they just throw rocks and shit and they just carry on breaking in. And but This is where they're putting all the money. Yeah. It's interesting. It is very interesting, yeah. Most adults that I've spoken to here uh, tell me they're too scared to walk out at night, especially in this specific area. Mm. How about you? You afraid? <laughs> well, I'm about two meters and about 130 kilos, so. <laughs> Share this far and wide. Let the world know what the people of Alice, black and white, all think about what's going on. And then check out all our reports at therealvoice.com.au. Share all the reports there and have your say on the survey on the poll and finally if you think what we're doing our mission here is as important as i do please consider chucking in a few bucks to cover the costs of getting here to remote alice springs therealvoice.com.au